Tammy Spatz could not be with us tonight. Uh, her husband is facing some serious health issues. Um, she is back home in Florida caring for him. So accepting a plaque on behalf of the first female swimmer inducted to our Hall of Fame is her aunt. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome Sherry Kosowski. Thank you. <clears throat> I am very honored to be here tonight to accept this for Tammy. And she wants you all to know how sorry she is that she can't be here herself. But as he just said, her husband is facing some serious health issues at this time and she could not be here. Tammy did send me a little speech to, to read and I will do so, but I wanted to add a few comments of my own at the beginning. Uh, I don't know, I don't think every, anybody, everybody knows this about Tammy, but when she was four years old, just ready to go into kindergarten, they found that she had a uh, very serious disease, which was called uh, dermatomyositis. And at the time, um, we didn't know a lot about that disease, but we soon found out how bad it was that children died from this disease. And it was a disease of the skin and the muscles. Uh, she spent probably over a month at the Detroit Children's Hospital on large doses of, uh, of steroids and a lot of uh, physical therapy. I remember the day we took her down there, uh, she had to be carried into the hospital. She couldn't walk, she couldn't hold her head up. You know, when she would sit in a chair, she'd have to put her head on her hands to, uh, just to hold her head up. And the fear was that it would eventually affect her breathing, but due to a lot of prayers and the miracle of medicine, she, she survived that disease and she was basically our little, our little miracle. Um, who would have thought at that time that she would go on to win all these awards in swimming? Um, now I'd like to um, read what she uh, sent me. Uh, she says, I would like to thank the Hall of Fame for this honor as they recognize my accomplishments in swimming. I wish I could be there to accept this award. I would like to thank the many in my life that have been instrumental in my successes, not only in swimming, but most importantly in life. First and foremost, I would like to thank my parents. I could not have asked for two parents to be more suppo supportive throughout my whole career. To all the 4.45 a.m. mornings that my dad drove me to swim practice and for the loving encouragement from my mom that was there no matter how I swam. I cherished that I could walk up to the stands after I swam and I got the same hug no matter how I had, no matter how I had swam. I know, I know their heart would break for me each time I strived to make the Olympic team and fell short, but they were always there to pick me back up and get ready to try again. To my husband, who I met in college and was, was my biggest fan, he loved being in the stands with his face painted burnt orange and white or with the American flag waving, cheering with me and my teammates and, and with my teammates. Traveling around the world away from your spouse can be hard because she did get married during that time during college when you are first married, but he realized that it was an opportunity of a lifetime and always backed me. Swimming always taught me to give nothing less than 100% and, as, and it has helped as he is battling cancer and we are ready for the fight of our life. To all my wonderful coaches, including Mike Motter, Muzz, Jim King, and Jill Sterkel, you are so much more than coaches and we're like an extended family. Mike, I don't know if he's here tonight, but I still have the shark tooth necklace that you gave me in high school while at the YMCA Nationals and will treasure it forever. Muzz, I will never forget Tuesdays. Mr. King, I will never forget going up to your son when I was in school and telling him I was going to be faster than him one day and celebrating your grandson's first birthday. To my family members, including my brothers, in-laws, aunts and uncles who always came to support me. I remember one year at State, all my family members were in the stands and wore t-shirts that said, Tammy's aunt, Tammy's brother, and so on. I don't remember how fast I swam at that meet or what place I came in, but I remember those shirts. With all my years in swimming, it is not the times or records that I remember, but rather the memories of friends and fun. One of my favorite pictures ever taken is with me and my teammate, Kara Kaltenbach, on the side of the pool laughing. 
We had so much fun and always laughed and smiled through all the hard work. I remember leaving morning, morning workouts as our hair would freeze like icicles and going to the coffee shop for breakfast where we would share Ben and Jerry's. She got that from me because I like Ben and Jerry's. <laughs> we would often get asked if we were sisters because we were always together and had the same smile. Mr. and Mrs. Kaltenbach's house was like a second home to me. Uh, with her not with us anymore, one thing that I really miss is her phone call to me on my birthday to wish me a happy birthday. With my husband's illness, it has shown me how much all of these people still care about me and what a special place everyone has had. Many have reached out to share their prayers and let me know they are thinking about us. Swimming has taught me many life lessons and provided me with many opportunities that I would not have had otherwise. I have been able to travel the world and to see many places. I have made great friends through teammates and competitors. I have learned the value of hard work and determination to achieve a goal and the importance of cherishing, cherishing the path, even if the goal was not met. I have carried these lessons as I have moved forward in my career and with my family. As I look back at my career in swimming, I think of how I would love for my children to have something in their lives as wonderful as what swimming was to me. Thank you again for this honor. Thank you.